Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in today's tutorial, I will show you how to add a date and time picker to the Divi contact form. So you can use the contact form module in Divi as kind of like a booking form or some way to select a date or a time that maybe you're trying to make an appointment or just you know schedule something, something along those lines where you're choosing a date and or a time. So you can choose either or, and you can add as many of these fields as you want. You're essentially adding a new field to the contact form. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So a long time ago, I actually had this tutorial published on my blog here, and it was several years ago. And unfortunately, the method that was used is no longer available. We were using a method to add the settings to the contact form, and it's just not available anymore. So that was one of the reasons by that not being available, one of the reasons we made our Divi contact form helper. It is a plugin that adds tons of new features to the existing contact form module. And we will be using that in this tutorial. It's just one of those things, adding a date and time picker involves a lot of code that's JavaScript and you can't just like add a little code snippet. It's not that kind of tutorial. You just can't do it. So if you have our membership, access to all of our products or if you have the Divi contact form helper plugin then you're perfectly fine and this will just kind of walk you through the process of getting this set up and adding the date or time picker that you need here you can click on the links to go check out the plugin and you can download it now at the time of this recording i think this is important so i'm recording this december 5th 2022 and the current version of this plugin is 1.4.1. So more than likely, if you're watching this in the future, we're gonna be way further ahead and there's even going to be more features. But for now, we're gonna talk about mostly what we have in the existing plugin uh, related to date and time picker. All right, pretty simple. We're gonna go to our module, add the, the field. So essentially, open up your module like this and you'll see the fields. And again, this is the default contact form module in Divi. Click this plus button to add a new field, All right? So think about it, we're, we're gonna, let's say, uh, what are we gonna add? A date and time picker, let's do a, whichever one, it doesn't matter, but here we can put a label. Um, and I could even say something like date picker, just to keep track of it, right? Now in the visual builder at this time, we can't uh, see the preview, but when we exit the builder, you will see it when we view the front end. So we can kind of skip over some of this. What we really want, when we're inside this field, notice this back button, we're inside this like inner field, right? What we want is this right here, date time setting. So open that up, use as date slash time picker. So turn that on and ta-da, now we've got all of our settings. And you can just help yourself kind of look down through some of these things we have a lot of options. So the first one that's kind of more important, date and time picker, or just date picker, just date, not time, or just time. All right, so you can pick whatever you want, but we can choose like the date and time format. Here's a whole bunch of different options. Um, in fact, even in here, we actually even have custom date and time format. So you could set your own custom, but Basically what we want to look at, I mean, these are kind of general settings here, but we really want to just give you the the presentation like, hey, these options are available. I don't have like a specific example, and maybe I should set up that we're going to set up this kind of form. Um, I guess I could have done that, but I feel like this is more like an introduction. This is how you add the fields, and this is all the options. Here's one that you might want. Show date and time picker in line. Basically, it means it will always just show it right there in the form if I have this enabled. If I have this off, then I've got to click into the form and then see the date and time picker. So it's off by default, and you can turn that on, and I, and I can show you some of this. All right, so here it is. It's in line, um, and if I turn that setting off right, like that, now it's like this. It says date picker, and I click, and then I can pick a date. See that? So that's the difference there. Other than that, inside each of these separate tabs, so date, so if I'm thinking about anything related to the date, here I can choose the date format, which day of the week should it start on, you know, depending maybe on your, your country, your culture, 
do you want to disable certain days? Like, like I don't want anyone ever choosing a date in the date picker on a Sunday. Okay, well then disable that. Or I don't want, I don't, you know, accept bookings on Mondays or something. You know, then I could check that and I could, that's that day disabled, right? In the calendar, I will not be able to pick these days. Um, past dates, like I don't want any dates in the past to be able to be clicked. I don't want today's date to be able to be clicked. Or, you know what I mean? Certain things. It's really cool all the options that you have. And you can see that here. Hopefully you can see a little. I can't choose Monday or Sunday, but I can choose something else. Okay. Minimum date. So I could choose like a fixed minimum date. Like I want to put in, you know, November 28th, 2022. So no one can pick before that. Or I could, I could choose, and that's the fixed minimum date. There's also a maximum date. So I don't want, I could say fixed. I don't want anyone to choose after, you know, December 25th. 2023, whatever. You, and then I wouldn't be able to select any dates after that. Now I could also say relative, minimum date type relative, and that's like plus three. That means I won't be able to select, um, the, and this is the minimum date, so I have to go three days ahead. So I can't select the next three days. So whichever day a visitor comes to your form, and if it's a relative date, it kind of adjusts you know, automatically, right, to, to their, when they're viewing it. Um, if you have, like, the minimum date as in, like, um, yeah, like, like, like the plus three, like, whatever you're booking or appointment or whatever it is, it has to be, like, a, you have to have, like, a certain amount of lead time, you know, that kind of thing, then you would use this kind of thing, and you can do the same thing with relative maximum dates. Now, you can also choose available dates, and again, use these little tool tips here for help. But basically, it's just entering specific dates that are available, right? So maybe all your dates are not available except these five. And so I would enter dates, comma, date, comma, date, comma. All right, unavailable dates, the same thing. Um, all the dates will be available except these. And I can put in a couple of dates. I can put in the holidays, whatever. Now for the time, it's very similar custom time format there's a minimum time so like I don't want let's see I don't want anyone contacting me before you know 9 a.m. or something <laughs> you know, or booking a time slot before that I know I don't want it to be after you know 4 30 p.m. because that's my last office hours or whatever now you could also choose specific available times like I'm only available to book you know from 2 to 4 p.m. Or, and I'm or I'm only un, I'm unavailable from you know noon 12 to 1 because I gotta eat lunch that kind of thing here's the time steps do I want it to be like like how long are the, the appointments or bookings or just whatever um, if you want to do time steps like 30 minutes is the default I could choose 15 minutes which means I could choose you know 12 15 12 30 12 45 1 but I couldn't choose like <laughs> 12 26 or something, you know, okay, so that's it um, all these settings and by the way We are adding more settings in fact. We're planning to add more and um, some things with synchronizing with booking systems and um, with uh, specific days of the week like hours Different for different days things like that. We're gonna add now you may be asking Rightfully so what about the design of this thing because you know by default. It's just a, a kind of a generic date picker. Well, let me tell you, we have every design setting you could want. So in the design tab here, go over to date time picker and you'll see again, we have three tabs, general, date, and time. So general is going to affect that entire box, right? So this date picker, like the entire thing, is gonna be general about the entire thing. And there's all these settings, like the background color, like if I make it green, and I want to add, you know, lots of padding or a border radius, you know what I mean? Maybe I want to put a border on the thing that's blue and it's dotted and all that stuff, right? I could do that and there you go. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? And so the same would apply to the date. So we're talking things related to the date area, the calendar area within the date picker. Here's the date picker width. Here's the height. Do you want to align the text, the month and year text to left, right, or center? Here's the month 
color and text sizes and week sizes and date sizes. Like, like literally, look, available date background color, available date text color, unavailable date background color. You, you get the, the idea. All of this stuff here in, in this area can be customized with our design settings, okay? And same would apply for time, right? So time picker width, it's, you know, it's it's here on the side, right? This area. So how tall do you want it? The fonts, uh, font styles, the colors, the text, the available times color, the unavailable times background color, all that stuff. We really think that we've added all the possible settings, I think. Um, and yeah, it's just exciting because it gives you so much ability to customize it. All right, so there you go. That's how you would add a date and time picker and adjust the settings and the design settings. Yeah, it's just one of those things like, um, it's just way bigger than like a code snippet like I normally do. It's, it's gonna require a plugin. But hopefully a lot of you already are members on our site and have access to all of our plugins anyway. So you can just download it and use it on your sites. We hope you enjoyed this and yeah. Give us a thumbs up and any comments. You can check out the documentation for this plugin if you need it. And everything will be in the description. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.